It's Ferb Jr. here with his sidekick and daughter, Ferbum. You can follow her on Instagram at that one random person. And we're here. She's going to help me uh, learn how to train my ear using an app called Perfect Ear. So, let me get over to the app, figure out where we're at. So here's what it looks like. I've won ear training. Ear training course is built to help you develop fundamental skills for every musician. Intervals, scales, and chords. So I'm doing interval comparison, but I probably should read the theory because I keep doing badly. Anyway, so I've done this much, but there's that much to do. That's a lot. So much you can't even get from one side to the other in one swipe. So, oh. So today we're going to be doing major and minor thirds ascending with no common tone. And I'm going to make a note of that. Perfect ear. Interval. Comparison. What was it? It was major and minor thirds. Major. Major and minor thirds. And how was it? It was ascending with no common tone. Ascending. No common tone. Except for the tone of my droning voice saying, Exterminate. <laughs> I miss the old Doctor Who. Like, like which Doctor Who is your favorite? Uh, is it David Tennant or oh, I like the Smith guy. I don't remember what his first name is. I want to call him Will Smith, but that's not right because <laughs> uh, Will Smith's black, and the other guy, definitely not black. Matt Matt Smith guy? Matt Smith was Matt the guy that with the with the fez. I like the guy, the guy with the scarf. I can never remember his name. Tom Baker? Yeah. From the old, from the, the yeah. classic Doctor? Yeah, he's my favorite too. Tom Baker, fourth Doctor. But I also like Matt Smith. I think he's my second favorite. But they changed it a lot, like Doctor Who stories. Plus, like, there's a lot more, like, basically, old Doctor Who is just like, stage play but there's a lot of special effects in the new doctor who yeah like i don't mind the special effects so much it's just like the story is like written very differently yeah the, the story structure is very different and like now it's like all like save the world stories like well, every threat yeah, it's like it has to be bigger, bigger than, than anything one. ever before. Yeah, with the possible and exception of the adipose. Remember the adipose episode? Uh, I don't remember who was the doctor then, but it was like they had this diet pill that you take, and then like the little aliens would come out, they'd take all your fat out, and then like they would escape while you were asleep. They were like aliens taking over the planet. Vaguely, it sounds familiar. Yeah, I thought that was, but that wasn't like, you know, the whole fate of the universe is in the hands of the doctor. Yeah. That was just like, we got to deal with these parasitic aliens that are being sold as diet pills. Anyway, somebody joined us and we haven't even done anything. So let's see who might be in the chat. People, oh, feet. We have feet. Thank you for joining us, feet. Another T T V viewer, Commander Root, Droop Dog with three G's, Feet, Industrial Parasite, Let's Do This Music, and Sad Girl. On the note of Let's Do This Music. Do you remember the mannequins? The mannequin one was really yeah. good. 
That was like when they had the Scottish guy. Yeah, that or was. The, no, he wasn't Scottish, but he was like from like, he was from like Leeds or Manchester. He had like a Northern English accent. Yeah, he was good. I liked him too. I was sad that they didn't keep him going. Anyway, back to the interval comparison. We're going to do major and minor thirds, ascending, no common tone. Let's see how we do. So watch this, Evelyn. Stop playing. Stop playing your thing and watch. So we have to find out which one is bigger. So let's repeat it. Let's repeat it. for the second one. It's the second one. It's a major third. Woo! And I knew I was going to get that right because I did the work on the keyboard to figure it out. Which I don't have the luxury of doing in any of the other courses. I don't think... Anyway, I think this is really good, this program. than a major third. Just remember that. Verbum. Yeah. Surprise! It's not going to be the minor third, but it doesn't tell you which is which until you hit the button first or second. You're not even looking. You're playing your game. I thought you wanted to see this to help your musicianship. But maybe you don't. Maybe I do. you just, Maybe you just want me to shut up so you can go to sleep. <laughs> you can say yes, that too. Yeah, that too. 
It's okay to tell me the truth, Evelyn. Always tell me the truth. Never lie. Bad will get you into outer darkness if you're not careful. Next, it's a major third. one do you think is bigger? Let's say the first one. C sharp to E sharp, even tells you the notes. Okay, let's do the next one. Sorry, G to B. No, no. I like 
like to sing it because I can kind of feel sometimes in my voice box how far apart it is or yeah. if it's further or shorter because you have to change the pitch with your voice. But it'd be easier to do with a piano or a viola or a cello instead of your voice, I think. Yeah. Evelyn's like super tired. She's putting her head down on me. Kay, the dog, is snoring on the couch next to us. Major third. If you know it's a major third, which is four keys on the piano, then you know that's the answer. Next. We got 100%, but we did not get a time bonus, that's for sure. I always go super slow, but like once I go all the way through this program, I'll be a lot faster. But we're all done. I'm done. It's 0158 hours here in Utah. So I want to say thanks for joining us. Thanks, Verbum. Thanks, Kay the Snoring Dog. We had a wonderful time. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.